What up, what up? Winboys here. And today I'm excited to show you guys how we can make landscapes using AI. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So as you can see, the program that we're going to be using is called NVIDIA Canvas and it's in beta right now. And so before we get started here, let me show you where we could download it at. So this is the website for it right here. I'll leave a link in the description below. But if you just scroll through the site, it kind of shows you everything that this program is about. It gives you a little GIF kind of showing you how it works. Basically, you pick an item, you stroke it, and the AI will kind of just help you make your landscape there. So I'm going to show you exactly how we could get started with this program. So this is NVIDIA Canvas here. As you can see here on the left hand side, these are going to be all of our tools. Up top, this is going to be where you can start like your new canvas. You can save it. You can export it out as a PSD file or a PNG. And then we can also use the magnifying glass here to make it larger. So if I hit fit, you can see that it's going to fill up our real estate here. And so over here on the right hand side under materials, all you have to do is hover over it and it will tell you exactly what that material is. And all you have to do is select this and then stroke here on the left or the right. And it's going to automatically fill in what you have selected there. And then this looks like Photoshop right here with the layers. We can actually add more layers, which will actually translate over to Photoshop. So as I was saying before, we can export out a PSD file. And if we open up that PSD file, it's actually going to correlate with these um, with these layers that we have here. And then down here, these are the different type of styles, which will affect our lighting. You can already see it starting to happen in our canvas here. But let me start with this beach one down here and let's get started. So for layer one, I think I'm just going to maybe create some sand. So I'm going to come over here to right here on sand. And as I was saying, you can either do it here on our canvas, which is on the right side. That would be like your AI canvas or on the left side. This is where it's going to give us our paint strokes. And it's a little bit more faster and responsive on the left side. But if you want to just do a little bit of detailing, you could do that on the right side as well. Either or whatever you're more comfortable with. And so now that I have my sand here, maybe let me add some ocean. And so we have two different options. We have the sea and we have river and that's going to be for your different water bodies. Let me try C here and I'm actually going to start here and I'm just going to click and drag it up. And if you're wondering how I'm able to do this so fluent, I'm actually using a Wacom pen, which for this program, I highly suggest you could use a mouse, but it's a lot more fluid. It feels like you're actually painting on the canvas here if we just use a Wacom pen. So I'm just going to draw in canvas here a little bit. Just drawing away and we have a nice little ocean there. If I come over here on my left hand side, if I click on this one, I can actually draw like a straight line. So I just click and drag it and there we go. So I'm going to click back on my paintbrush. I'm just going to fill this in a little bit. And you can already see we have like a nice little ocean scene here. You know, I love the ocean. I'm right off the coast here in Southern California. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to add another layer and maybe let's add some foliage in here. So maybe let's come over to let's see. We have grass. So I'm going to click on grass. Maybe we make like an island over here. Something like that. That looks just like Laguna Beach down close to where I'm at looks really cool right there maybe let's add some trees so i'm going to add another layer i'm going to come down i believe it's forest yeah so let me click on forest i'm actually going to come back here on the left to start dragging these in you can see that we have some cool trees here maybe let's put some trees on the island over here so something like that could look pretty neat actually i'm going to hit Control z and just back out works just like photoshop Control z let me put some trees, maybe well, let's do it all the way over. So something like that. I'm not going to get too crazy in here because I want to show you guys how we can actually bring this into Photoshop and do some cool stuff with it. So maybe out here in the ocean, maybe let's put a couple of rocks. So over here where it says stone, maybe I want to put a stone right here. Maybe a stone that goes off screen right here, kind of like a, a little reef or something. If you've been to Hawaii, this looks very familiar. So something like that, I think that looks pretty cool there. Maybe let me add a little bit of grass around this area here just to kind of fill this in. Let me see what happens if I put grass here. Something like that. Nope, let me get down just a tad bit more. And I'm hitting control Z. The grass isn't giving me quite what I want over here on the island, but I think this is looking pretty cool over here. And so what I'm going to do from here is actually I'm going to save this out as a PSD file and open it up in Photoshop so you can see all the different layers and how everything works in there. So all I got to do is come up here to the top. 
I'm going to click on this little square here that has the arrow. Then I'm going to save it to my desktop here. And I'm just going to name this one Island. And then I'm going to click on save. And that should be it. So the next step from here, we're just going to open up Photoshop and open up this PSD file. And while I'm waiting for Photoshop to open up, let me show you some of the lighting settings that we have down here on the right. So under here, under styles, if I click on these, you can see that it dramatically changes our landscape there. So we have like a nighttime scene here. We have something that looks like it's around dawn. So these are really cool just to kind of give you a different mood. I kind of like the more vibrant colors here. So I'm just going to stick with this one here. But depending on the type of mood and the type of landscape that you're going on, you might want to, you know, experiment with these styles down here to just change up your lighting and it totally changes the atmosphere in your scene. All right, so now we're in Photoshop. All I'm gonna do now is actually open up that PSD file. So I'm gonna find my island here, click open. And you can see right now we have all of our different layers on top of here. We even have alpha channels. So if I look down here in the lower right hand corner, let me turn off the background here. You can see that we have all of our layers here. So here's layer one, here's layer two, three, and four. And this is basically correlating with the strokes that we did inside of Canvas. And then our background layer here, if I turn these other ones off, this is going to be our landscape photo. So the only thing that's a little bit janky with this is it's going to give us something that's really low resolution. If I come over here to image and if I come down here to image size, let me pull this over here so we can see it better. But you can see the width and the height is at 512 by 512 pixels at 72 resolution, which is pretty tiny. And you can even see here, it's a little bit janky. I mean, it's decent, but I feel like we can make it look a lot better. But before we do that, let me actually make this really high resolution. There is a free website that we could use that I'm going to show you right now. So this website is called Icons 8. I'll leave a link in the description below. But as you can see, if you go to icons8.com, over here on the right hand side, we have something that's called Smart Upscaler. And this is going to enlarge and enhance your pictures using AI. So we're using artificial intelligence again. And it's also saying that we could use a JPEG or a PNG, which I don't have. So I'm actually going to open back up NVIDIA Canvas and I'm going to save this out as a PNG file. So I'm going to come back over here to the square with the arrow. Click on this. I'm going to name this one island underscore two and right here where it says save type we're going to click on psd come down to png and make sure i have that selected click on save and now i should have a png saved out so let me make this smaller i'm going to click on browse here on icons 8 and there we go so i have my png here island underscore two i'm going to open it up and automatically you can see that i brought it down here on the left hand side it's going to show you the original resolution here I'm just going to exit this out. It says NQ because that's basically it's using the web browser and AI to upscale this picture in which you can see now it's at 1024 by 1024. It looks a lot sharper. It looks a lot nicer, but we can actually enlarge this up to four times. So I'm going to click on this. And if you don't see anything happening, you should see processing down here. It's going to take a little bit to process. But if you look over here, we actually only have two free images left. You have to upgrade. So if I click on upgrade, you could do like a monthly subscription or in my case, I just use different web browsers and it resets that. So right off the bat, you have four free images. And then after that, you have to buy a subscription or you could use another web browser. So we're up to four times right now. And actually I can enlarge it times eight. So let's get crazy and enlarge it times eight. See what happens here. And there we go. So it says reach this limit at 3000 times 3000. So I'm just going to download this. I'm going to click save, click OK, and then it's going to save it to my download folder. So I can actually minimize this. I'm actually going to turn this off instead of Photoshop. Actually, I'm going to exit it out, click no to saving it. Then we're going to come down to my web browser, come down to my downloads folder, and here we go. So this is the one that I just grabbed from the website. You can see the dimensions are 3000 by 3000. I'm going to click and drag this into Photoshop. And here we go. So if I hold down control on my keyboard and hit the plus symbol, I can actually zoom in. It made it look a lot better, but it's still a little bit blurry in there. 
And so the tool is not perfect. Basically, you could use this as a point of reference if you wanted to paint over top of it, if you wanted to use it as like a background in your 3D program or After Effects, or if we want to make it look like a painting, we do have some filters inside of Photoshop. So if I come over here to filters, come over down here to, let's say something like stylized. And if I come down here to oil paint, let me hit preview here. Actually, we already have the preview here. You can see that it's taking our image and it's making it look like an oil painting. So we have some parameters here that we could play with, like with stylized. If I drag it down, it's gonna make it less stylized. If I drag it all the way up, it makes it look a little bit more oily here. Cleanliness, let me drag this down. You can see we have some like stucco in here. I'm gonna pull up the cleanliness and see what the strokes look like larger. Actually, I think that looks pretty cool. And then the bristle detail, you see something, something like that looks cool. So I'm just gonna click okay. And that makes our image look like an oil painting, which could look cool. You know, you could take this and do what you want with it. If you wanna maybe make it look like something else, let me hit control Z, come over here to my filters. And we can actually come down here to the filter gallery and it's gonna show us a whole bunch more filters. So I'm just gonna scroll back on my, my wheel here on my mouse until I have this full screen. So now over here, we have a whole bunch of different filters that we could lay over top of it, you know, depending on what kind of style you want to use. But this is how we could kind of take, you know, like that low image that we get from Nvidia Canvas and make something kind of cool and artistic out of it. We have some other stuff down here. Let's say if you want to make it look like a mosaic, let's raise up the size a little bit. So if you're working on like a church scene or something like that, I mean, something like this could look really cool. This tool could be used for a variety of different things, basically to lay your groundwork. Like this is really cool for concept artists. Maybe they wanna, you know, sketch out an idea real quick in their head, bring that into Photoshop and then start doing like the raw painting over top of it. You know, there's a whole bunch of different things that we could do with it. I would say download it. It's completely free right now and just go explore. So hopefully this helped you guys out. I thought this was really cool when I saw it. I know a couple of years ago they had like a browser based version of it. It was okay, but this is a lot better as a standalone and it's in beta. So it's only gonna get better from here. Hopefully they're gonna allow you to do higher resolutions natively out of the application. But for now, you could just use the up res trick. So if this did help you out, make sure you leave me a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. And until next time, stay fresh, keep creating, and I'll catch you in the next video. I'll see you soon. Take care. What up, what up? Wimbush here.